If you're in a situation where you feel like you are choosing battles, you skipped a lot of holes in between. You're trying to force that horse to learn something that it's not ready for. So I'm brushing Dancer. This is a new horse that just came in. I'm gonna saddle her up and ride her. And while I'm doing this, I wanna talk about choosing your battles. I've heard that for as long as I've been riding and training, and they always say, choose your battles. But the more I've learned <clears throat> about training and horses, if you get to the point where you are choosing your battles, you've already messed up. You should never get to the point where you're in a battle, so you should never be choosing a battle. You should have a lesson plan in your mind. You should have an idea of what you want to be doing with your horse. And you might need to adjust that, but it never should be a battle. It should be a matter of you showing your horse what you want your horse to do. If you get into a situation where you're choosing a battle, you're already on the wrong side. And in the process of you riding your horse, working with your horse, think about what's going on there. Are you battling with your horse or are you teaching your horse? Teaching should never be a battle. Just like teaching a child in school, it should never be a battle. You're working with that child to teach that child something. Same thing with your horse. You're working with your horse to teach that horse something. If you're in a situation where you feel like you are choosing battles, you skipped a lot of holes in between. You're trying to force that horse to learn something that it's not ready for. You need to go back and figure out what holes in that horse's training that you have missed and then go back in and fill those holes in. If you don't have any holes, there will be no battles to choose. So this is Dancer. She just came in about a week ago. I'm going to saddle her up and we'll do a video with her. There'll be a playlist up here with her videos on YouTube. Until next time, thank you for watching.